Doctor, one of the things that, that you talk about is uh, lutein at any age. Can you explain that a little bit and exactly what age are we talking about starting to, to make sure that we maintain eye health? Yeah, it, as we talked about before with macular degeneration, this gave, uh, the, this launched the research with mm -hmm. lutein and it was thought to be something that you can sort of plug a hole late in life and maybe help yourself get through macular degeneration or, or, or what, what have you. Uh, the more research that's been done in lutein, it, it's shifting backwards. There, you know, some work that I've done on, on adults uh, indicates that more lutein in the eye, this macular pigment as it's called, uh, confers major benefits with visual performance and glare, uh, less visual discomfort. Uh, you can see through glare. Your vision speeds up. Basically, you've got a faster visual processing center because of the lutein, and that's partly due to the retina, partly due to what gets in the brain. So you have faster reaction times, okay? Uh, also, more recently, uh, there's data on cognitive performance, so memory performance, language performance. That's huge. I mean, we're talking about potentially, you know, staving off dementia, delaying mm -hmm. the onset of Alzheimer's, those kinds of things. So that's adult effects. But getting back, working back uh, it, it, more recently, and this is in the last probably seven or eight years, uh, lutein's been shown to be incorporated in utero. Uh, it gets stored, it gets con passed from the mother via the umbilical cord to the baby. The body uses it, it stores it in special areas, and then when the brain and the eye start to develop, it pours the lutein into those areas to sort of act as the building, you know, mm -hmm. inspector and, you know, catch anything that's, that's wrong and mm -hmm. quench these potentially damaging, uh, you know, oxidative species that, that happen, uh, happen quite frequently in development. And we're talking about rapid development. Uh, the peak of neurogenesis, uh, where you're developing brain cells, is 500,000 per minute when you're, I mean, that's an astounding, mm -hmm. uh, you know, metabolic event. And so you need some, you know, antioxidant in there to sort of yeah. quench uh, the bad stuff that can happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. What about uh, supplementing it for little kids? I mean, how do, you, how do you go about doing that and making sure that they're getting what they need? Right. This is the unstudied population. Kids, we know that it's great for, you know, uh, babies, mm -hmm. the fetus, uh, right after you're born. Uh, breast milk is rich with lutein, I mean, assuming mom's getting some in her sure. diet. Uh, kids, we don't know so much about, and then adults we know quite a bit about. And so I have three daughters myself, and, and I do know this about kids. They don't really like, overall, they don't like vegetables. The stuff that has lutein in it. And of course, I do this research, and I'm thinking, ah, how do I get it into these kids? Yeah. Well, in terms of a supplement, that might be a good idea, putting it in something that's you know, got a little bit of fat in it, some sort of chocolate milk lutein or something like that <laughs> might be a good idea. Sure. Uh, but what I do, and what my wife and I do, we stuff spinach into a blender, uh, a bunch of it, and you make a smoothie out of it. You put a bunch of blueberries in it, and mm. it, it masks the flavor of the sure. spinach. And they love them, and so, and we feel like, gosh, you know, all right, so they're, they're getting some of it. And uh, my oldest daughter is coming up on 10 years old, and I've measured uh, what she has in her eye. It's about the cutoff age when you, they can actually do the task mm. to measure it in their eye. And she's, you know, at a, at a fairly high level, and that's, that's encouraging. Mm, yeah. So it's doing something. It's getting in there. I can measure it. Mm -hmm. so.